Welcome to Nashville. I wanted you to be able to take in the sounds of the city in the first clip and also there there was a reflection of a building in the window and that across the street from this place is the Ryman Auditorium. This place is the National Museum of African American Music and is dedicated to showing the influence of African Americans on the different genres of music from blues, rock and roll, gospel, R&B, hip hop, even classical music. There are different areas that highlight the different genres of music. The people who um, had a big influence, who had um, a big career in those uh, different genres. Uh, it talks about some of it goes into different regions of the United States and where music may have i guess you can say started the type of music may have started in a certain area when you go into the museum you get a bracelet that you can scan at different areas and you can uh, get information sent to your email there's there are areas where you can produce yes produce make your own music and then after you do that, if you're satisfied with it, you scan the bracelet and you can get that emailed to you. There are different rooms that you can perform in, and I'm going to show them in a while. There's one that's gospel. You, you, um, it tells you what you have to do. It's fun. This will be something to do with family and friends. It tells you what you have to do, and then. You do it and it records it for you and then you scan your bracelet and you can get that sent to you. There's another area that you can perform other uh, types of music and you follow the, I guess, performers, the virtual performers on the stage or you can do your own dance and you... It tells you what to do and you do it with the performers and then it records it and you can get that sent to you and that's kind of fun the whole the whole exhibit is interactive there's some reading but there's a lot of interactive there's a lot of uh, areas where you can go and you can put on headphones and you can listen to information about different artists and how certain um, artists have had different uh, influence on uh, younger you know up and coming or or different um, a different uh, I guess you would say I guess you would say a different you know time because maybe uh, artists from the 70s may have had an influence on an artist in the 90s and it shows how how that happens, how you can hear the influence that different artists have on each other. And I think that's very interesting. Lots of pictures, even though I'm showing you these pictures and I'm showing you that was, those were the original hosts of uh, MTV when MTV only played videos. Uh, they were the original hosts of the different shows the different uh um i guess you would say shows the different video times <laughs> um this area you can push the buttons the little well, it's not really buttons but you know it's a virtual well yeah it's buttons it's, it, you push the screen i'm sorry you push the screen and it tells you you put on headphones and you listen to what it has to say. And then like when you're walking through here, there's uh, you can look at this little wall and it shows you like a movie uh, or different pictures. 
and there's um, overhead speaking and telling you about what you're about to uh, walk into. This is the area, that little short part was the area where in the middle of all of the exhibits, they uh, every few minutes play like, you know, a video clip of a live performance and you might want to step back out and look and see that because it's nice. It's like being in a concert. And you can plan to spend a couple of hours here because you're going to want to take in everything that you're seeing. It's located downtown Nashville on Broadway. And the parking garage is near, is right next to it actually. This is the dance room I was talking about. So you, the parking garage is next to this area. There are no eating areas inside of this museum, but once you step out into, you know, on back onto Broadway, there's plenty of shopping and places to eat. So they highlight um, music, clothing, uh, instruments, um, every little thing you can think of. Some things I, I didn't even capture. Some clothing, uh, maybe that maybe an artist wore to an awards show. Uh, uh, it's very nice. And there were lots of people here, but they make it a point to tell you that you have to wear your mask. Um... And I'm doing a voiceover because there's music playing in every little part of this place. And I didn't want to get in trouble for having music playing in the background. This was the area. I went back to a few times to see people. See, she's performing like she's on stage. This is a museum that's fun to go with people who may be younger than you or even older than you because you might see an exhibit and they might have some information they may want to add or they might want to go down memory lane. And that's fun. That's interesting too. They can put their two cents in about what they remember about a certain time. Or someone younger may know something about an artist you've never heard of before. This is the only African American music museum in the United States, and it has so much information. Because this one is it, this one covers all genres, so there may be other museums that have you know something about African American music history, but this one is solely dedicated to remembering and celebrating the accomplishments made by African Americans in the music industry. So make it a point to stop by when you're in Nashville. If you if you're visiting or if you live here. You have to check this out. National Museum of African American Music. This is the gift shop. And there's a on display a guitar signed by B.B. King. You can buy these things. There's a 
record player coming up that you can actually buy if you wanted to. They have this for buying. That's the guitar signed by B.B. King. So I really hope you enjoyed this brief video about the museum. I hope it inspires you to go. You won't, you definitely will not be disappointed. Like I said, I didn't even capture everything. Try to go and have fun.